welcome to Tuareg. It is smooth, silky, very serene. It feels expensive. And you might be thinking, Anna, it's just a Volkswagen. Don't make a fuss. Well, think again, because after all, it is their flagship model, which means it's going to be better than anything else. And it really is the best out of the whole Volkswagen lot. Is it on a par with the likes of BMW X5, Audi Q5? Sure is. It is the very same leak. You can't feel any bumps, any imperfections here. The air suspension is absolutely heavenly. And it does come as standard in all Tuaregs, except for the basic trim elegance. You can also adjust the suspension and the level you're sitting at. So for example, very low if you're carrying loads, for example, your yacht, or higher up if you're going off-road, or somewhere in the middle if you're just trotting around town. So all according to your environmental needs. One, two, two three. cold outside so let's warm up and from all I know a great way to do it is speed so launch control here we go let's put you into spot mode automatic start and stop button deactivated electronic stability control is deactivated all the nannies are off I hope my magic box from race logic is going to deliver I've had to put up an additional antenna because the windows here are so thick for your comfort and luxury anyway enough talking let's start doing foot on the brake Foot on the throttle. She's ready. Off she goes. Come on, Tuareg. We're off to a slightly sluggish start. So the declared zero to 100 is 5.2 seconds, and I am 5.34. Well, bit of a rubbish result. Although, considering winter tyres, it's all right, actually. 5.34. Look at the size of this car. Actually, it is really good. Oh, God, I love launching sports cars, but launching big, heavy cars is far more satisfying. Let's check what we've got under the bonnet. A rather rare animal, three liter V6 turbocharged petrol engine, which produces 340 horsepower and 450 newton meters of torque. This is actually a plug-in hybrid because we do have an electric motor and the total power is well unknown. I couldn't find this information anywhere. Come on Volkswagen, get it together. If I find this information, I'll put it on the screen. Now, all Tuaregs are actually V6. There's the non-hybrid one, should you prefer to stick to batteries in your remote control only. And there are also two diesels. The more powerful one produces 286 horses. And I think that is a very interesting proposition if you're doing a lot of long distance journeys. And that is enough about the numbers under the bonnet. Here's what I like. Laying on the beach with sunlight in my eyes. The steering feels nice and light, but it is also very responsive. Now, it is not a small car, yet maneuvering it in and out of car parks is not hard at all. We've got high resolution cameras. I also have optional rear wheel steering, which means at lower speeds, my back wheels turn in the opposite direction to my front wheels to help me be a bit more efficient when maneuvering and parking. We actually have a better turning circle here than BMW X5 and that is a huge achievement. The visibility here is very good. There are no blind spots. We're sitting higher up, large mirrors, huge back window. You can probably fit a small pig there and still see clearly. And this is a living example of marrying practicality with ease. If you look at the 
the back seat is very comfy. I've got plenty of near room, very good headroom. I love this panoramic sunroof. What about the middle seat? Well, it's fine if you've got small feet. I've got giant feet, so as you can see, I am struggling, looking a bit strange. But anyway, whilst I'm sitting here and it started to pour down with rain, the boot space is a whopping 665 liters, which is one of the most generous boot spaces available on the market. Time to check the cabin. The quality of the materials, the fit and finish is actually very, very good. But could it be any better? Well, there's always room for improvement, especially when it comes to color choice of this cabin. I mean, this black is looking a little bit, well, sad. But I do love the exterior paint color, that sort of warm blue looks ever so elegant. Anyway, on to practicality. There's plenty of storage space to carry all your clutter, large cup holders, huge door bins. I mean, it's a German car, we wouldn't expect anything less. While it's mobile charging, 12 volt socket, USB-C port, you can close this pocket to hide all your secrets. Nice steering wheel, shocker buttons, a little bit flimsy, a bit of a mumbo jumbo to start with, but with a bit of time and patience, I promise you, you got this. Paddle shifters, well, more switches. Anyway, digital drivers display a very clean and clear layout, which you can change and adjust to suit your needs and desires. Very good. Nice gear lever. It just feels expensive and solid. Now you've got volume control, traditional knob. Looks like Volkswagen has eaten a slice of humble pie. <laughs> I mean, no more sliders, very good. Down here we've got Change of driving modes, very good, very handy. Okay, you can also adjust your suspension from here. Just a bit physical, a bit touchy feel. That's better than sort of sliding and fiddling with the screen, okay? Now let's move on to this infotainment system. I like this sort of double screening, just looks very modern. I've got Apple CarPlay plugged in, which you can do wirelessly, very handy. But let's have a look at the system itself. It's easy, straightforward, very intuitive, good graphics, crisp, crystal clear, and look how quickly it responds to the touch of my finger. Very good. Actually, you don't need Apple CarPlay. This is more than good enough. Okay. Good quality. I like it. I wish there was Alcantara lining, but that's just me. I mean, you know, I wish to be the Queen of England. I mean, it just shows you the sort of expectations and my sense of reality. But otherwise, it's just a lovely cabin. I approve. It's like talking to a wall when you don't look at me. I want to speak my mind and tell you how I feel. But it's like Being a plug-in hybrid, when you trot around town on electric only, of course, it is absolutely silent. When it comes to the electric range, you'll get about 50 kilometers, 30 miles, if you're lucky. It's not the best result out there, but nevertheless, it does come in handy. But then when you hop on the motorway, you pick up some speed. It is still very quiet and relaxing. And part of the relaxation, which by the way, you don't get with electric cars, well, not often, is knowing you've got the wonderful flexibility of a combustion engine. I have not charged my battery at all, and I'm averaging about 10 liters. Let's not forget, under this bonnet, I've got a three liter V6. Excellent result. Eight-speed automatic gearbox, quick and smooth, generally speaking, but sometimes when I rev it hard, I mean really hard, it starts to ponder and wander. But where it doesn't do it at is sport mode, but there it holds a lower gear. Not everyone likes it. Moral of the story is this is not a car for flooring hard. You've got the big muscles here to push this big body gracefully. And for goodness sake, it's not a Golf GTI, where primarily goal is to rev it hard all the time. Now let's flick you to sport mode. You can feel more weight added to the steering. It is sharper, it is pointier. 
on a twisty rotor, the handling is very good. We've got a solid grip, there's a little bit of body lean, but hey, this is to be expected from a car of this size and weight. But we feel planted and it's not yet another empty vessel. Now the brakes, they've got a big job to do here. They are controlled, they don't feel too grabby, too greedy, they are just right. Yesterday, I was on a long distance journey, driving in a pouring rain. You see, this sort of weather combined with big and heavy car and high speed can oftentimes be a recipe for a disaster. Luckily, all Tuaregs are all-wheel drive and I've got to give it to Volkswagen. They have absolutely nailed the driving dynamics here. I felt safe, secure, confident. The ride was very quiet and quite frankly, absolutely majestic. soft closing doors, very posh. So, what are my final thoughts on Tuareg? Discreet, understated, yet very elegant. This is luxury worth its price. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!